Hello and welcome to this Silk Test video demonstration on how to prepare a physical Android device for testing. The device used for this video is running Android 6. Before you connect an Android device to a physical computer, you must configure the device for testing and ensure that the requirements are being met. A detailed list of the requirements is available on the Silk Test Help. If you are connecting an Android device to a computer for the first time, you will need to install the appropriate USB driver. Download the USB driver for your Android device and perform the following steps to install the driver. With the Device Manager open, locate the Android device. Notice a yellow warning icon indicating the device is not recognized, as no driver is currently installed. Right-click the device and select the option Update Driver Software. Select the option Browse My Computer for Driver Software. Locate the folder of the downloaded USB drivers and click Next. If you are prompted to install the driver, click Install. The USB driver is now successfully installed and the device is recognized in the Device Manager. Now you have to enable the developer options on the device. Open the Settings menu on the device and scroll down the displayed list of options. Tap the item About Tablet or Phone depending on your testing device. Again, scroll down the displayed list of items to locate the build number. Repeatedly tap the build number until you receive a dialog that notifies you that you are now a developer. Navigate back to the main settings screen of the device. Open the Developer Options menu. Enable the Developer option at the top of the screen. The dialog Allow Development Settings should now be displayed. Click OK to dismiss the dialog. Scroll down the list of options to enable USB debugging. If an Allow USB Debugging dialog appears, click OK. If you are presented with another USB debugging dialog, click OK to dismiss it. Locate and enable the option Stay Awake. The final step is to ensure that the USB mode of the device is set to MTP, Media Transfer Protocol. Slide the notification tray into view. With Android 6, the option USB for Charging will be set by default. Tap the option USB for Charging. You should now be displayed a list of alternate options. Select the option File Transfers to enable MTP. With our device and the machine now configured, we are able to begin testing with Silk Test. With Silk Test Workbench open, let's create a new visual test titled Login. With the Select Application dialog open, select the Mobile tab. Silk Test recognizes and lists our configured device. Select your device to enable the Browse button. Let's now click the Browse button to select the native mobile application we wish to execute a test against. Click OK to begin recording. With the Silk Test Recording Device screen open, we can now create our test. Let's enter a username and password. And click Login. We will now log out of the application to complete our test. And then click Stop on the recorder and save the recorded test. Now we can verify the recorded test by executing the test against the device we recorded against. The playback dialog provides us with a real-time visual status of the test we are executing, and the test has played back successfully. This concludes our demonstration of preparing a physical Android device for testing. I hope you found it informative and thank you for watching. For more information about Silk Test, you can visit microfocus.com or view our other Silk Test videos and playlists. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our future videos.